What I wanted to show you today was the power of the NQI system that uh, the QPS team have built, specifically around the ability to add a resident and their proxy or relative. And we're gonna go through and shoot you through an email with the survey link and you'll be able to step us through pretty quickly how to fill out a national quality indicator survey. We're just gonna pop straight through and go to manage residents. We're just gonna add your grandfather. Okay, so you can, um, we've got an import process, but you can quite easily put a single resident in. So you can see nice and quick, we've got Bobby's popped up right at the top there. And if we want to add a representative, then we can just drop down the menu here. A uh, really nice and quick way to put it in. Relationship, so we're linking you and making sure we've got the relationship correct. We don't need your mobile number. Uh, we'll put your email address in. We can skip the last couple of fields just for this purpose. Hit save. And now we've got you guys in the system, we're just gonna go to the consumer experience survey over here. As you can see, we've got none out of 21 completed. I'm gonna specifically look for Bobby. And there you go. We can filter him straight away. The first thing we do is we choose the method that Bobby wants to complete the survey. So there's three uh, methods of survey that can be offered, but we're gonna take the email option because we know you've got a email address and you're happy to receive that particular communication. So first thing that we do is set, set the resident to the completion method, and that, that puts everybody in the correct category so that we can complete them in a process-based way. So if I take off my filter and we go to the proxy completion tab, we can see here that we've got a Bobby pin. We've got the representative automatically selected. So if we had a number of different representatives in there, we could choose who we wanted to send the email to. We can see the survey status is incomplete and therefore we've got no score, no category. There's been no emails being sent out here. And this is how easy as it is. We're just going to go click on this little email icon. That's going to give us a little pop-up modal, just letting us know what's going on. So as a staff member here, I can send just this particular email. What's a really great feature is you can set up as many as you like. You could set up 20, 30 or 100. And this list will just basically populate all of them and you can send all of those emails at a single click. So all you need to do is hit email survey. That'll use the QPS servers to generate an email and that should be off on its way to you shortly. All right, I've got the email here. Yep. I'll just press enter survey. All right, cool. And I'll just start answering the questions. And what we should notice is as you complete the survey, we can live watch the score updating. Okay, and now I'll hit submit. Yep, and submit survey. And there you go. And right in front of us, the page is updated. We've got a completed status. And if we go to the top here, all of our survey numbers are all updated, ready to go to the Department of Health.